guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download games for the PS3 and move them to the PS3 and how to run them as well. Um, so, I've found a lot of comments on other videos about how they don't they know how to download the game, but they don't know how to put it onto PlayStation or how to run it or any of that stuff. So I'm going to do one video to show you how to download the game, put it onto PlayStation, run the game, and probably some other stuff as well. So first thing you want to do is come to this website here. The link will be in the description. Um, and just choose a game that you want. So there's you know GTA 5, which I've already done. Um, for this video, I will do... Where was it? I'll do Tomb Raider. So you just want to hit download. It will put you on this page. Okay, and the page will load something like this and um, so the first thing you want to do is just check the cedars and leeches and make sure there's more cedars than leeches otherwise your game will take way longer to download and uh, then you just want to hit download torrent so you need to have a uh, torrent program I've got uTorrent which is a really good program I mean there's a whole lot of other ones you can use but uTorrent is probably the best so you just go download torrent and it will download either straight to your torrent thing or um, it will do what it's done here for me you just want to hit that and it will open a page like this as you can see I'm already downloading quite a few games but uh, there it is there and uh, so I'll just stop that in a bit. okay so it will start downloading and then what you want to do is it will come once it's finished downloading it will come out as either like this so I will have a couple of folders and then it will have stuff like this or it will come out as package files now I will show you how to do both of these and how to run them both um, so I'll be using these two games to, do, uh, to show you how to do both um, so you just want to put a USB in. I'm using an external hard drive because these games can be quite big. So in this um, in this external hard drive, you want to create a new folder called ROMs, all capitals. Uh, don't worry about those other two folders. But you want to open that, and if, as you can see, I've already got um, some games in here, and as you can see, I've already got the package files here, which I've already installed. And you just want to. Uh, you just want to open your folder, you just want to either copy or cut them, I'm just going to cut them because it's slightly faster and it's going to put these into the ROMs folder and I will come back once it's finished ok guys it's just about done um, there's one thing I did forget to mention, this is, oh, I'm not sure if I did mention it or not but uh, you have, they have a jailbroken PS3 and I am using Multiman for this. So, uh, I mean, you can probably use other ones, but I'm using Multiman. Okay, so once those have been put in there, uh, so just again in the external hard drive, the ROMs folder, then those two games are the ones I'm using for the example. Um, I will move on to the PS3 now. Uh, so what you just want to do for the PS3 is just put plug in your external hard drive. You must have it in format FAT32, otherwise the PS3 won't pick it up. So it has to be in FAT32 format. Uh, and I will see you guys at the PS3. Okay guys, at the PS3, what you want to do is plug in your FAT32 formatted hard drive or USB. And uh, as you can see, I've already done GTA 5. Um, and what you want to do is open your backup manager. As I said before, I'm using Multiman. Uh, so just wait for it to load. Okay, don't worry about that. I'll just sit down. I'm doing a voiceover for this book because I screwed it up before, but it should look something like this. Uh, if you're using Multiman, it should look pretty much exactly the same as this. 
um, if you're using any other backup manager, I'm sorry, but you'll have to find what I'm doing here because uh, it will probably be different. But uh, when you're there, you want to push Start and Select. Just exit out of that. And you want to open the PS3 root. I think that's what it says. It's hard to read from here. And then you want to find the USB 001 or 0001. Uh, or it could be 000. You want to open that. Find your ROMs folder. It will automatically have an icon. And then you want to find um, the game that you're doing. So I said I was doing two, the Spider-Man and the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! as the two different examples. Uh, so I think I do the Yu-Gi-Oh! one first. Yeah, and as you see the two package files, usually they'll be numbered or... and then there'll be a patch or something. I think there's just one and two or... Oh no, I think there's just the actual game which will be the big file and the patch. So you want to do the patch last or the crack last. Uh, names vary. So, I don't know what I'm doing. So you want to open that and go, yes. And what this does is it will put you back to the XMB menu of the PlayStation. And you will be able to open it into the package files. Um, you can't, well, I wasn't able to just go install package files and find it there. So, uh, but you will be able to now. As you see, there's four because it picks it up twice. Because now you've found the location of it and then you've told it to load it again. So it'll be two, uh, four, so two of each. Just do the top ones, makes it easy. And as you see, I'm installing it there. And I will see you guys once this is finished. Okay, it's uh, almost done. It's at about 70%, I think. Um, just if you guys have any questions about this, I've probably left some stuff out. Only halfway through the tutorial about it, but still, if you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to comment. I do read every comment. Just, you know, I go through my emails and stuff, and I get all your messages and uh, your comments, so uh, I do read them all. Uh, so, I think it's almost done. Uh, yeah, so I'll just wait for this. Okay, so that's done. And, uh, so that's the one file. Some, some games, most games will have more than one file. And as you see there, there's the game. And so you just want to install the crack or patch or whatever it says. It might not even say that it might have just be the last one. It will be the smallest file. That's how you know. And as you see, it says demo, but it's not because I've I've played it before. It's not a demo, but I'll just show you it's working. And uh, so this is uh, the first method, just the package files, which is. It's, it's, it's kind of good and kind of not, because you can, uh, well, it, as you see, it works. I'm not going to sign this my piercing, but, uh, as you see, it works. The package files you have to install to the PlayStation's hard drive. With the other method, with the Spider-Man game, you can run it off your external hard drive, which is, which is awesome. Uh, but you can also put it onto your PlayStation. So, as you see, it's working there. And I'll just uh, exit out to the XMB menu. Okay, and that, that will stay there. That's like the GTA game. Now to do the other method, you just go back to Multiman. Okay, and you go back to the same folder where it was. I think I show you again. Yeah, so you go back to the USB and back to ROMs and you find the Spider-Man game. And you go to the bliss or whatever code you have. 
and then you go to PS3 game, US, whatever that is, and then you'll find the e-boot. Uh, I can't really read the US, but it's US or something. And you, you find the e-boot, and you open that up. Some games will launch it straight away. Most games will, uh, will kick you back to the XMB menu. And right here, I didn't know what happened at all. But it was actually under the app home um, folder, that one there. Um, otherwise, it will create like a, a PS3 folder for you to do, and you just open that. But uh, I'll skip to that now. Okay, guys, sorry about uh, that mistake, I guess. Um, but one thing I did forget to mention is... Um, wrong folder, sorry. I was trying it with Black Ops 2, and I figured out what it was, but... Um, so as you see, this is still on my external hard drive, so I'm showing you how to run it off your external hard drive. I think I'll also show you how to make a shortcut, but as you saw before, you just open the eboot.bin. Sorry, I've just been playing squash. Uh, anyway, you open the eboot bin, and uh, as it happened before, it'll kick you to this menu, and it will either create a PlayStation folder, or as you saw the folder there, that's always there, um, that folder. And as you see any thicker now, you'll see a uh, Spider-Man 2 load up. Oh, amazing Spider-Man 2. There we are. Um, yeah, so as you see, well, as you'll see in a second, it, it will work. Um, so, I the, so far, I hope you guys enjoy this. If it's helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it did take me quite a long time. This is the second commentary I did because my uh, recording software didn't work. So I've, now I'm using a different one. Uh, so I have put a bit of effort into this video. So yeah, just... Oh yeah, it was taking too long to load so I decided to exit. But it did work. I've, I've played it. I've been playing it. Uh, so, now I think I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut to make it easier to open because instead of navigating through all those folders to open the game, I can show you how, well, I'm going to show you how to create, I guess you could call it a desktop shortcut. So, in this folder, i just make sure. So, for the eboot bin, you just push X on it once, and then go down, I, actually, I copied it there, I tried to copy it, but you don't copy it, you go um, create shortcut, uh, as you'll see in a second, I'll go back into it, and so you just X on, push X on it once, and then go create uh, the shortcut, and it'll go to the uh, desktop, as you see there's, there's made in Spider-Man, so as soon as you load up Multiman, you'll be able to put a double X on it, and uh, so you can just put from this menu, you can just push Start and Select, and go into it and open it from there, as you see there, and you can just open it from there. I've done it with Black Ops 2. Otherwise, you can just well, if you don't want it on an external hard drive, you just copy the whole folder over. It will take a while, so you just copy the whole folder to where uh, your games are located on your PlayStation. You just copy them from uh, to there. And uh, so I believe that's it. I'm pretty sure. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. But so that's the uh, two ways you can sort of download games on, uh, to your PlayStation. Uh, as I said multiple times, it needs to be jailbroken. Otherwise, you would have got stuck on step one where you need to have multi-man or any other backup manager, but uh, I use Multiman because that's what I was recommended uh, to use. So uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope this did uh, help you. Um, it did take me a while and uh, I had to go and do stuff, I wasn't doing this anyway. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, if you've got any questions at all, uh, just post a comment down below or email me, my email will be 
in the about section on my channel or wherever, but just hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, see you next time. If you've got any requests, by the way, uh, just uh, post them as well. And I'll see you guys later.